Welcome to the final part of our lesson on singing pop songs. Let's jump right in. What do we mean by stage presence? Well, stage presence is everything about you that's not your voice when you're on stage singing. It's your energy. It's your physical performance. And most important, it's how you interact with the audience. Don't just move from one song to the next while you're on stage like it's all business. Your audience will feel ignored. And what have you been saying about singing pop? It's all about creating a big, memorable experience. So talk to your audience between songs. You know, tell them stories. Ask them how they're feeling. Make them feel involved with the show. Don't just stand there while you sing. Use the stage. Move around. Give your audience a show. You don't have to dance unless that's part of your performance, but you can put physical movement into your show. The best examples of this are frontmen or the lead singers of the band. It's the job of the frontman or woman to do more than sing. They are the face and voice of the band, so it's their job to be a showman and entertain the crowd. So watch how they do it. You know, watch the moves they use. And hey, never be too proud to steal a good move if you see one. No one will mind, I promise. But don't steal bad ones, because that's just dumb. Finally, if you're not having a good time on stage, then no one will, especially your audience. Even if you're really focused on the songs you're singing or you're worried about getting them right, remember to enjoy yourself and especially remember to smile. People want to feel good when they listen to a pop singer. Now, like I said, you don't have to be a professional dancer or even any kind of dancer at all to be a pop singer, but dancing is part of a lot of pop singer shows and people love it. I mean. Think of pop stars like Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Lady Gaga. They're all amazing vocalists and singers, but they're also amazing dancers who incorporate dance choreography into their performances to take their shows to a whole other level. If you already have some dance experience and are thinking about combining it with your singing, especially in the pop genre or even if you have no dance training and would like to give it a try, here are a few places to start. Study hip hop dancing. There are hundreds of different styles of dancing you can study, but when it comes to pop stars and pop music, hip hop is one of the most used forms. You'll see examples of it in music videos for pop songs all the time. Hip hop dancing is all about dancing to the beat, which makes it perfect for pop songs and stage performances. It's also on the cutting edge of what's cool when it comes to dancing. And as we covered earlier, what's cool and trendy is a big part of pop songs. Now, if you're serious about combining dance with your singing in the pop music genre, you'll eventually want to find a professional dance choreographer to work with you as you train. It's the choreographer's job to come up with the dance moves you'll do during a show or in a music video. Now, it's also their job to teach you the steps and the moves and help you get them right. All pop stars who dance as a part of the performance work with great choreographers. And you should too. That's the end of our lesson. I hope all of you future pop stars were paying attention, and I hope you learned something about what makes good pop music and good pop performances. I'll see you next time.